So I'm just going to jump into this. I want you to read these comments that are coming up. These are off of the Queer Kids Stuff channel where she's left the videos open. And as you can see, this woman is telling everybody that if Lindsay commits suicide, she's going to send all the screenshots somewhere. But watch. Do you see the second com or the third comment there? She's telling somebody to go kill themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't I don't get this, I don't understand this, but this is the liberal doctrine. She can't we be all that we complain we can we can complain when somebody tells us to go kill ourselves, but nobody else can complain when we kill when we tell ourselves or when we tell somebody else to go kill themselves. A double standard much? You know, is Masterson TV, whoever it is, woman, I, you know, you blow me away with your thoughts, your, 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 your just ignorance of it. Raven Masterson TV over on YouTube. I mean, just really. <sighs> How can you sit there and say that you're gonna you're gonna take screenshots and send them somewhere if Lindsay from Queer Kids stuff kills herself when you're sitting there telling somebody else to go kill themselves? But moreover, do you do you, do you have kids? I mean, honestly, do you have kids? The thought that the 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 mere imagery there for me is boggling. I hope you don't. I hope that if you do, you're not letting them watch this queer kid stuff. But as I said, you sound like a fan of indoctrination and teaching children to be sexualized at a young age. I'm, you know, I'm saying that's wrong on so many levels. It's not even funny. I, you know, I mean, I've had the conversation birds and bees with my 13-year-old, but he's 13. We've had the conversations about, you know, the boy being, you know, gay, straight, or otherwise, but he's 13. You know, where 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 in do we draw the line at? Where in do we do we do we say, you know? <laughs> Don't be mean to one another. Defend the weak. And be strong, but don't do what others are doing. You know, you clearly overstepped. Any legitimacy you talking. had, any legitimacy you had went out the window when you told the, uh, when, when you told Elena Vital to shut up and kill herself. Okay. You not see the? Do you not see the double standard? I've already posted both of the pictures of the screenshots I took off of the queer kid stuff, with which is the last video with an open comment section right now. I've got a feeling that eventually Lindsay over at Queer Kid Stuff will close it down too. My statement, my 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 whole thing about her channel is, you know, she's trying to educate children of the wrong age group about sexuality. You know, I've made the statement openly. She's grooming kids to be molested. This is a how-to video. For a child molester, this is something that a child molester will show a child and use it to be able to molest a victim. That is exactly what it is. You know, this is how kids get hurt. Whether she's doing it intentionally or not, I don't know. I, I hope she's not doing it intentionally. I hope she's just misguided. But telling kids that doctors are wrong about genetic assignments. Okay. 
Society places baggage with with gender. Sorry to say, it's been that way for thousands of years. Okay. Even you know, ancient societies placed assignments to gender. Okay. How do you think we've progressed to this point? I'm not saying it's degeneration, although technically you could view it as a as a standard of degeneration. Okay, you know, Lindsay, I understand you're a woman, and I understand you might identify as a man or something else. Okay, I know plenty of girls that had short hair going all through school, but I also know that. The girls that had short hair when I was going to school, I later learned they were being molested. One of them was even raped by her own stepfather. I'm not going to use her name. I'm just going to say that several of my classmates in the now know. Huh? I bleached my shirt on accident. Jeez, my wife bleaches her shirt. She doesn't want to say it. She distracts me, but she doesn't want to say it. Well, wait a second. I objectify my wife, so obviously, you know, some I'm a misogynistic objectifier, and I'm a critic of LGBTQ. Um, no, actually, I'm not. I honestly believe in human rights. I do not believe in special rights, but I believe in human rights. I believe in the pursuit of happiness. And hey, if being gay makes you happy, go be happy. Live your life. What you do in your bedroom is what you do in the bedroom. Okay? I can't stop you from kissing. I can't stop you from being a woman kissing another woman on the street in front of my kids. Okay? Hey, I know what PDA is. Hey. I'm an advocate of PDA. I mean, I've I practically made out with my wife in front of both of my grandmothers. And no, it wasn't at our wedding either. It was before then. So yeah, you know, it, it's 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 one of those things. But. You know, I just, I guess, you know, I guess I'm just an old fogey that doesn't get it, okay? I'm a conservative that doesn't get it. I'm not a Republican, I'm a conservative, okay? I do differ with the Republicans and the conservatives on certain viewpoints. <laughs> You know, but honestly, and I love, I love the atheists when they use the term marriage because marriage indicates a religious event. And that's on both sides, both conservative atheist and liberal atheist. Am I wrong in that? I mean, you know, no. okay. And for the religious scriptures, they all indicate that it's a union between a man and a woman. So why use marriage? Why not union? Why not unified? Why why does the government have to identify a religious event as a legal term? I always thought a union and a marriage were two separate. They could be the same, but a marriage was, was and always has been a religious event performed over by a priest among something a way all through society but again I digress and I go back to the whole thing is is that for as little support as Lindsay is getting okay and yeah she is getting a whole lot of hate okay and I don't care what Lindsay's religion is. I don't care what her sexual preference is. My whole thing is that 
she is handing out tools to pedophiles, enabling them to victimize children. You know, am I wrong in that? No, I'm just not not that I've seen so far. As far as like the videos and stuff, from what I've seen is scary shit. Yeah. I mean, really, you, you, you people that support Lindsay, great, support her. But she needs to pull her material, revamp it for an older age group, not three to seven. Hey? Three to seven-year-olds are just learning... They are highly impressionable. Yes, I agree with that. But no, they're not gonna they're not gonna sit there and think that two guys can play mommy and daddy together. They don't you know, three to seven year olds do not need to know about the LGBTQ phrasing and what it means. What do three to seven year olds need to be learning? Math, early science, reading, writing. They need an introduction, introduction to history, introduction to science, Introduction to mathematics. That's what three to seven year olds need. And they're still learning manners. And they're still learning societal rules. But they don't need to she's be. She's trying learning. to skip she's trying to skip all of that and the societal rules and go straight into advanced human interaction and relationships. That's not something she needs to be teaching kids. That's something that parents need to be teaching kids. Trans and all that can wait until after they hit junior high. I mean, you know, I knew what a homosexual was when I was 12 years old. I had one in the family. Did I love my uncle any less? No. Did I love him any more? No. Hey, but I didn't associate much with him, but that was more my dad's decision than it was anything else. Okay, but I still saw my uncle. My ultimate gist of it is, is that those of you that support Lindsay and are gonna, are saying that you're gonna, you're, you know, if anything happens to her, she commits suicide, that you're gonna screenshot all of this and send it off somewhere and then you go tell somebody that they need to shut up and kill themselves that's double talk that's double talk you lose all credibility with me at that point you lose all credibility with anybody really at that point and you know again Raven Masterson TV you know I'm gonna put you out there on YouTube you're gonna become YouTube famous eventually I hope and I hope Baring and some of the other, you know, anti-SJWs pick up on this. And I hope that they nuke you for it. I really hope that they nuke you for it. But that is my thought and my two cents on it. Hey, queer kids stuff needs to pull its material and revamp it for an older age group. And those of you sitting there making empty bias threats and then telling somebody to go kill themselves is is doing exactly what you're what what you're trying to defend Lindsay from isn't the way to go. Now you make Lindsay look bad. I mean Lindsay already did that job on her own, but you only make her look worse. And then you, you know, just you, you perpetuate your own 
double standard and negativity. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a repentant conservative. Uh, my wife here is Strongheart. We appreciate you watching the channel. And if you like the material we cover, give us a like, thumbs up, give us a subscription. We'd appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Be safe. Take care.